use of research to stand out. And this is going to be, you know, in my mind, central. How do you get this information? How do you accumulate the things that clients really want? And since, you know, we can't put together, you know, the collective wisdom and hire them all of a single industry at any single firm, we have no choice but to go out and use research. And when we, you know, talk about research, that could be a third party, that could be other partners in the firm. But, you know, research is research. You're asking the questions, you're getting the data from the source, and you're interpreting that data and adding insight. And all the time I've been doing this, I don't think I have ever seen an industry group succeed in a, you know, national or global scale that did not have original research. It is the one common denominator across all the successful industry groups in virtually every industry I've ever seen that separates you from everybody else. I would say that about a third of the organizations that do research will use the what I'll call the leadership model, which is the one you just described. About a third use a you know third party who helps analyze the data as well. And then another third use a combination of both. The most successful groups that I see take this research, they have you know, two to five messages they'll take out of it, and those are the messages they pound all year long. And then they conduct another survey annually to find out what the new issues are. But by sticking to a small number of issues, you're able to use a very loud voice. And usually at the end of the day, there's only you know, a small number of issues that really have the most impact. So publishing it and using, and when I say publishing, I mean pushing it out in every way you possibly and reasonably can. So not just a white paper, but a white paper, a webinar, a blog posts, tweets, and clearly you know, the, the leaders of the practices are not going to be doing all of these things. There's a lot of support behind this. But that's what stands behind the most successful industry groups, the, the kind that are magnets for business. So, um, and that's the path you know, we see as the most successful. By doing this kind of research and making this kind of investment, you are giving the clients something. Okay, they're getting something of substance of value. That gives you permission to go and ask what they need and what they want and how you can serve them better. You know, it gives you insights that others don't have. So if we're looking for that differentiator, um, not only are you telling clients that you understand them, but you're telling them in a way that other firms can't. It engages your clients. Um, it gives you the common world view. And, you know, it basically, if I go down to number six, you know, it compels clients to share their insights and concerns with you. If you give them something of value, they're going to want to give you back something. And that is what they need, what they want, and oh, by the way, it's going to include their business as well.